Welcome guys. Today we are going to color grade some videos using my LUT, so let's jump straight into it. So we are in a Final Cut Pro X and I'm using the latest version at the time of this video, which is 10.5.2. And I'm using Color Finale and some adjustment layers here uh, to make that demo. But um, I'd like to say you don't need to have those. You can do it straight with Final Cut. So I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, without those plugins. And then in the video, I'm going to do a demonstration with Color Finale and uh, the adjustment layers. I'm going to use those plugins because it's a bit easier to show you what's actually happening. Basically, if you want to apply a LUT in Final Cut, all you have to do is bring up this effect tab here. I already have a few clips on the timeline with different settings. Some of these clips are straight out of the drone, some are log, shot in uh, S-Log2, S-Log3 for some, here that one is an S-Log3, some are directly off uh, GoPro Max, for example. So let's apply a LUT and for this you're just going to look up for LUTs and apply directly on the clip or double click on it. And here we've got a custom LUT, you can go and look for them. And I must say it's exactly the same if you're using Premiere or DaVinci, choose the custom LUT. So in this bundle you'll find my LUTs under Guillaume Connect Films here, LUT, GCF and they are all here. So I've got five LUTs in this pack and they both are um, in 3DL or Q files, depending on the kind of software you're using. So just to be safe, I exported some 3DL as well. And all five LUTs have two versions, a log version and a standard version, which is going to simplify and make it easier for you. And all you need to do at this point is, for example, we are going to choose the Nikalu standard LUT for this one, just click on open. And now we've got the LUT applied just to see, I'm going to deactivate and show you. You don't need to change anything here. And the, con the only control you have is the mix. In summary, it's pretty much the intensity of the LUT. So you can play around with this. And I'm going to go through them with you uh, with Color Finale because I can just have a quick preview at the same time. And to uh, add a LUT in Color Finale, for this video, I'm going to use adjustment layers. They act as an effect and uh, you can cover multiple clips at the same time with the same adjustment layer, which makes your work much easier when you have to color grade a full video and you've color corrected each individual clip, but you want to apply that one LUT or that one look over your whole timeline. And you just drag this adjustment layer on top of all of these and it's going to apply exactly the same look. Here, I've got some clips that are very different from uh, one to each other. That was a drone shot, shot on DJI Mavic Pro 2. That one was shot directly off the Sony S7 R3 in slow motion. And usually in slow motion, I try to avoid S-Log2 on the R3 because it's only an 8-bit camera and there is not enough data. So that would have been probably Cine4. That shot was definitely shot uh, on the Sony S7 R3 in 4K S-Log2. This one was shot on the Sony S7S 3 in S-Log3. That one was shot on the GoPro Max. So let's uh, click on that adjustment layer and we are going to apply Color Finale the same way this window is going to open. You're going to click here, which is going to load the LUT utility. And from this finder, you're going to choose the folder where your LUTs are. So I've got all of them in this folder here. and. You can even show the gallery and that's why I really like Color Finale, even the old version and I'm not even upgrading because I'm only using Color Finale for this actually, which is to preview my LUDs. So obviously here we've got all the LUDs, you can see Bali, Glass, Ningaloo, two of them every time because we've got the log and the standard version. So for this one clip, I would not recommend you using the log version, for example, because this was shot straight out of the drone. The profile I used was not flat at all. So if I used the log profile, it's going to be very contrasty. Whereas like if you were to choose the standard version, you have something you could work with. So for this one, I'm just going to use the Ningaloo standard because I think it gives a very cool look with that very deep blue. And uh, that's the look I went for when I was uh, making that video. I wanted that very, very deep and rich blue instead of the turquoise. So in Color Finale, you can quickly up and down the opacity, which is the mix. And that's pretty much the intensity of the LUT. So here we can leave it this way. And what I like to do is do some color adjustment. For example, I'll just a bit the exposure because maybe the boat is a bit overexposed, but that will increase uh, a bit the overall mid-tone exposure and my shadows to bring them down, for example, 
uh, the saturation is maybe a bit too high for the taste or you can bring it up but that's pretty much it so you've got uh, a nice clip now and obviously like color grading is totally up to you i would say it's a very subjective art and like you like it you don't like it the way i work with lut is basically i like to give an overall look to my uh, video for example so i will choose a lot but then i would tweak all the settings pretty much to change a bit the color to, to what I want. A lot for me is a very good starting point and there is always quite a lot of work on the individual clips after. Here we've got a shot of my very, very, very beautiful partner, Emma. Same way, I'm going to go into color finale. And here I'm going to load the lot called Bali. It gives that very, very faded look. That LUT is a bit too intense for me, so you can change the intensity of the LUT. So let's say you just want a bit of the color and let's add some color grading to it. Make sure the white's a bit darker maybe and the overall exposure a bit brighter and play a bit with my saturation here to have the clip. So now let's see before and after Like we've got a very nice cinematic look. I really like this. Uh, next clip, let's play with another lot of the pack. In this one, for example, we are going to use the studio. This was shot in log, so let's um, use the studio log. And that lot here is very intense once again, so I'm going to dial it down. And it really depends on your camera. We've got this nice shot of Emma again, walking and doing some yoga. I really like the skin tones and the blues, so that was before and after. We are still quite bright on this shot, but I went for a very bright look, very desaturated, except the skin tones that are popping a lot. And you can obviously like do some adjustments. Maybe the LUT is a bit too much now, so let's go back and dial down the LUT from here, or you can do it from uh, this slider here. So let's keep everything in one place and move that one down to 50%. That one, that was shot on the Sony S7S3 in s 3 and let's choose, for example, glass that we haven't used. Same deal, uh, let's make sure the LUT is not too intense. Let's see first if we can make some adjustments. The overall tone is a bit too blue, that was, uh, my white balance was very blue, so you can adjust it this way and maybe increase a bit the saturation. So that was the before here and the after. It uh, gives that very nice like turquoise kind of look. Finally, and this one is one of my favorite look I've created over the years. This is my GoPro look, the one I use pretty much on all my pictures on my socials. So this one is called Space and we're going to use the standard version of it. Here you go. So I'm just going to close that down and maybe do some adjustments on the picture on the color board. So make sure my shadows are a bit dark, but like bring the overall exposure maybe. So let's play around like and make sure we're not clipping those highlights, bring up the mid-tones and uh, play a bit with the saturation like so that the half is maybe a bit more orange and you can play around. So that's the clip. <laughs> Guys, very, very quick uh, overview of my LUTs. I just wanted to show you how to apply them and how they looked. A bit more about the Creator FX Bundle 2.0. So my LUTs that you just saw here and as well as all my presets for Lightroom will be included in that bundle alongside a lot, like a ton of assets for many other creators, amazingly talented people that have all gathered together and put all their assets into one large pack where you'll have access to some amazing tools to create some really cool videos. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to use those slots. Leave a thumb up if you like the video and I'll see you into the next one. Tschüss.